Hi, I'm Luke Cartwright from Fujifilm and Fujinon Cinema and Broadcast Products. I'm a European product manager and today we're here at IBC. So a few new products to show you today and also some new accessories for the Duvo 25 to 1000 mm lens. The first one we've got is the wooden camera accessory cage for the Duvo. As you can see, it bolts on, gives you accessibility on an ATO rail to mount your ARRI Hi5 receivers, uh, your Preston MDR, uh, microphone, anything that would mount to a NATO rail that you can use now as an accessory onto your Duvo. The second more exciting thing we've actually got here today is uh, made by Photo Cine Rent. It's a motorized polarization filter on the front of the lens, but combined with a shaded Mac box. All articulated shades in notches, 3D printed, um, and using the ARRI control system to change your polarization on the front of the lens there. So this is something available, like I say, from Photo Cine Rent. It is something new to the market. So we're still doing a lot of research and pulling guys in, seeing what's what, but get in touch with Photo Cine Rent if you want to try that out. And obviously wooden camera, if you want to test the cage out. Um, that's about it. We've got some new accessories, advantages on our new range, our ERD zoom control. So we've got an auxiliary volume. If you're familiar with the lens, we can use the auxiliary pot to do a remote back focus on the lens. So you don't have to physically reach around the side of the lens. If you're on a, re on a remote position, you don't have to de-rig or get a ladder or get to the lens in any way. So we can actually adjust remote back focus from this pot. But now we can also control iris position from this pot on the zoom demand. So if you're racking and you just want to test rack, um, and you're not on a gallery, or even if you are at a gallery, you just want to test rack and see where you're at. You can do iris from the comfort of the zoom demand, especially in cinema applications where you might not have iris control over anything else, um, even on a high five or a Preston. It's quite nice for the operator to have use there. So yeah, they're the new features um, and new accessories for the Duvo 25 to 1000 that were shown here at IBC 2023. Another thing we're showcasing here at IBC is the newly announced Duvo 24 to 300 mil ENG lens. So here we're showing it on the F5500. It's just a mock-up example at the moment. So we're showing it within the case. Uh, the first working sample will be Interbe this year, which is in November in Japan. Shortly after that, the European markets will receive working samples on the lens. So we're talking similar range well, it's the sister range to the Duvo 25 to 1000, but on a smaller scale. So 24 to 300, 2.9, ramps to T4.2 at 207 millimeters, covers Super 35 and full frame, has your virtual reality output, has remote back focus, has breathing compensation technology, um, and everything you'd expect from a handheld, lightweight, so sub three kilos, you know, steady cam, handy cam, jib cam, you know, it's going to fill a lot of market space and uh, yeah, we're confident and we're excited. So the, the first shipment we're looking at March next year, um, there's an initial shipment to Europe. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in a demo or interested obviously in putting a purchase in, get in contact with your local sales team and we can get that sorted for you. The second lens or the third lens in the Duvo range is actually the 14 to 100. So we've announced the development of this lens. Um, but we can't announce any official features of it yet. But think along the similar lines as the rest. So remote back focus, breathing compensation, virtual reality output, Super 35 and full frame coverage. And obviously, as you can see here in the case, lightweight, under three kilos, hopefully. Um, and ideal for wide shots, jib cams, steady cams. So if you want any more information on any of the Duvo series or a demo, Get in touch with your local sales entity and hit us up on the website, which will be below now. Thank you.